What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to send an email with attachments from a list. So let's get right into it. Alright, so say we have a list of attachments that we want to include in an email. So we'll, we'll list them here. I'll grab um, these three files. So I'll take a right click here and copy the address as text. And then paste it here. I'll do that three times. And then I'll tack on the file name. So I got a daily report. That's a PDF. I've got a daily report that's in Excel SM. And then I've got World Cities that's in Excel SX. All right, so then let's go over to our code here. We'll call this sub uh, email attachment list. And then we'll declare our variables. So I've got out app as object, out mail as object. Then I'm going to declare my worksheet. So this worksheet here, we'll just call it WS. And then also the body of my email message. So we'll call it STR body. And that'll be a string. So let's set our app equal to create object. And we'll be opening the Outlook application. And then we'll set outmail equal to our app dot create item. I got a zero there. All right. So now let's set our worksheet equal to this workbook dot sheets. And then the sheet name is sheet two. But I can, you know, call this whatever I want. So I can call this, let's call it a file list. So I could just change that here. But a better way to, to handle this would be to check. So check this out. So you see how the name file list is right there? Oh, let me fix that. Lowercase i. Okay, so the name file list is right here. It's telling me that it's just the, the second sheet here. So what I can do is instead of actually writing the name in here I can just put the number two so now it doesn't matter what I call this tab it'll still be referencing this this tab whenever I pull a call for two because it'll know that it's the second sheet so we'll see it in practice once we get the code running but now we won't we want to activate our sheet so WS activate and then when we activate this sheet, we're going to count the rows uh, the rows down. So we're going to count the length of our list. So we're going to do a row count. So let me actually add that variable up here. A row count as an integer. Okay. So row count is going to equal our worksheet. And then we're going to be counting the cells, well, the rows. So rows dot count, and we're going to be counting in column A, or starting from row A. And it's actually going to count up from the bottom. And as we you know make this list longer and smaller, it'll get the right count. So we can have a dynamic list and no matter what we'll have the right number of attachments in our email so now let's um, write the body of our message with str body so we'll say uh, the body style font size let's go with 12 And then the font family, 
let's go with Ariel. So now I'm going to continue this line by using an, um, an ampersand and an underscore. And then we'll just say, hi team. I'll do a paragraph break to skip down two lines. Today's, please see today's reports. And then I'll do another paragraph break. And I'll continue the line by using an ampersand and an underscore. And then I'll just say, thanks. And then I'll do a regular break. So it'll just go down one. And I'll end it with my name. Thanks, Greg. All right, so that's our, oops, what's wrong? Okay, should be a quotation right there. Okay, so we're good now. All right, so now um, on error, resume next. And then without mail. This is going to go to um, whatever email address you're going to be sending it to. So I'll just do 123 at abc.com. And then we'll CC no one BCC no one and then the subject we'll just say like morning report or daily report And then we'll include today's date. So you just have to put format date. And then let's try month, month, day, day. And then year, 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 year. So that, that'll be our format. And then we'll display the email before it gets sent out. Otherwise you can just type in send, but we'll just display it first. And then we'll do HTML body equals our body uh, message up here. So str body. And HTML body again. All right, so now this is where we're going to add the attachments. So in order to add any number of attachments in this list, what we're going to do is use a for loop. So for and we'll set our variable, we'll create one called i. For i is equal to one to our row count. And then at the bottom, we'll do next i. So we'll just iterate from i all the way up to the row count. So at this point, we'd expect the row count to be equal to three. So from i to three, it'll keep going through this loop. So we'll say each time i goes through, we'll add in our, our attachments. So we'll do attachments. Add and then we'll reference our worksheet. So, WS and the cells that we want are going to be so you can think of these like coordinates. So, YX, so Y is up and down. So, we want I to be that variable, and then we're in column one, and that's never changing. So, I1, and we want the text. So, it'll just keep going down from one one two two three three and grab all these and then it'll exit the loop so now we can end our width on error go to zero and then we'll set our out mail and we'll set our out app equal to nothing all right cool so this should be good to go let's run it Something's wrong. Um, oh, I spelled create wrong. Sorry about that. All right. Let's try it again. There we go. That was fast, right? So we got our three attachments there. We got our email message. 
let's try it again maybe we could add some more so we'll just copy this like a couple times okay so let's run it again now we got all nine files so no matter how long your list is it'll grab them all and even though the name we could change the name of this to whatever we want and we don't have to go back and change our code because we're referencing the actual sheet on the back end. So we got two files now. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.